In this lesson, you'll learn how process models are used in Appian. You'll also learn about the relationship between process models, interfaces, and record actions. In the previous lesson, you learned that actions and related actions are defined in records. In order to work, each action and related action must be linked to a process model. Process models are used in Appian to translate your business workflows into executable processes. Process modeling allows you to execute business rules, manipulate data, integrate with other systems, task users with work, and more. As a standard practice, most organizations document their business processes by drawing workflow diagrams, often using whiteboards or a graphic design software. Each process is drawn as a series of steps that are sequenced in the order in which they should be performed. Some steps are assigned to a specific group for completion. Other steps are automated. Do not skip this step in your application planning. Process models are critical objects in Appian. Your planning document can help you identify the processes that need to be created in Appian. Reread the application's purpose and goals, as well as the key activities performed by the groups that will use your application. For the Acme Auto application, some of the processes that need to be documented are add a vehicle, request maintenance, and update a maintenance request. In Appian, process models are not static. Processes enable performing activities that capture and modify data. You can add components to a process that will perform activities. You can learn more about specific components in the BPMN course. Let's now take a moment to talk about user interfaces. For the Acme Auto application, there is an add vehicle process where the registrar fills in the add vehicle form. The process of adding a vehicle begins when the registrar completes and submits this form. As you create your process models, identify a mock of interfaces that need to be created. Just keep in mind that every data field in the form should have a corresponding field in your data structure. Here's an example mockup for the add vehicle form. Notice the data entry fields in the form correspond to the data fields defined in the vehicle's data type created earlier. Share the mockup so others can help verify all required data is captured and the layout is effective and attractive. Later, you can refer to the mockups when creating the interfaces in Appian. For planning purposes, you may want to document the interfaces needed and associate them with a process model and data structure that will be used to both display and collect information in the interface. Here's an example using Acme Auto. There is also an important relationship between process models and record actions. In the records lesson, you saw several buttons at the top of the list and summary view. These represented record list actions and related actions that could be performed. Record list actions are used when there is no specific record involved initially. Related actions act on a specific record. When you configure actions and related actions to work with your records, you'll need to link a process model to each one. When a user selects an action, the associated process begins. So during the planning stage, you may want to create a table listing the action names, the records they pertain to, and the associated process model names. 